Mayor Lionel Jordan is in his second term as Fayetteville's mayor at a time when Fayetteville's experiencing growth and development, but also at a time when the nation is facing such uncertainty with recent events regarding police brutality. Listen in as I chat with him about upcoming city plans, race relations, and uniting the community, his favorite thing about his job, and more. This is Terra Talks with Mayor Lionel Jordan. All right, this is Tara Carr with KDIV 98.7, the voice of diversity. I am here with our mayor, Mayor Lionel Jordan. How are you doing today? I'm great. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you. Awesome. Well, first of all, thank you so much for your time. Uh, Your reputation precedes uh, itself. And I just want to kind of jump right into a few questions uh, that concern the community. Like I said, we are the voice of diversity, so we always want to uh, talk about the community and what's going on. So we appreciate the moment to sit down with you. So a uh, hot topic, we'll go ahead and get started with a pretty hot topic right now, not only in this area, but across the nation mm-hmm. uh, with the Black Lives Matter movement pretty mm-hmm. much in full swing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and only about 6% of blacks living in Fayetteville. How do you help foster race relations in this community? Well, I think it's always about communication. Mm-hmm. And, you know, what, what, we, what we've established in this city, and it's something that I, I believe in, and I have this sign over the office that says we believe in an open door yeah. and an open mind and an open heart. And we believe that everybody's accepted in this city that comes in, and they're a part owner. We believe in a partnership-based government where, you know, you can have two types of government. One says you can have a consumer-based government says, what's in for me? What do I get out of it? We believe in a partnership-based government. That's awesome. Where we're all part owners together, and we move a city forward together because it takes all of us. It's, uh, uh, you know, I, I travel a lot across this city mm-hmm. and meet with all kinds of folks, and we accept people for, um, we believe in loving all people. Yeah. We accept people for where they are. We accept them, it, it doesn't matter what the color of your skin is or your religious belief or who you love. Yeah. We accept everyone here and we want everybody to be a part and be a bridge one to another. And that's what we've tried to establish in this city. So it's always that line of communication. And I know over the last couple of weeks, there's been a lot of incidents that uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk and, and a lot of communication. I think that's a really good thing okay. uh, because lines of communications uh, uh, are good one to another. And it's like I said before, it's we're all bridges, aren't we? Absolutely. And and I, I believe in uh, an outreach. As, as uh, You know, I was just looking. I wanted to pull all the things that we have done for diversity, equality, and inclusion, which are, are also a foundation of my belief. I believe that, that equality, diversity, and inclusion, upon that rests the rights of all people. And without equality and diversity and inclusion, we don't have any rights for anybody. Absolutely. Awesome. And I totally believe that. Um, yeah. And And I believe in whatever the problem is, Mm -hmm. with enough of us working together, we can fix anything. That's true. And what would you say are the most important issues facing Fayetteville at this time? Well, we've had uh, a (laughs) we we're in a large growth spurt. Yeah. As you know, we're the third best place in the United States to live in right now. Yeah. Awesome. Where, uh, yeah, <laughs> yes, it is. What pretty, an uh, honor. <laughs> what, what an honor. We're also the, the uh, for a city our size, we're the most affordable city in the United States. Yeah. And also we're the third best city to uh, for new startup businesses outside of Silicon Valley and New, York, and New York. So we're very proud of that. Uh, uh, the uh, So the growth, though, I think we've added about 7,500 people in this city since 2010. We're the largest population shift city in Arkansas. Wow. So they're really folks are really wanting to live here and be part of this. People are finding out how <laughs> great we are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And and it's uh um you know, it's it's all about, you know, uh, just having a great place to live and everybody working together and believing in one another and helping one another. That's awesome. So what would you say, what do you hope? to accomplish or uh, to see something uh, tangible happen uh, in your term for this year, this upcoming year? Well, there's three things that we're working on. And uh, and uh, uh, usually I, I have a triangle. I have little things that I draw. You see, I got little signs yeah. all over the place. If you never depart, you never arrive, you know. That's and awesome. uh, 
you know, uh, uh, it's possible, and we stay the course around here. And, yeah. And, and uh, but I think uh, there's three things we're going to be working on mm-hmm. in the in the in the next few years in this city. One is we're going to build a uh, physical infrastructure. As, as you know, we have built flyovers and trails. Mm-hmm. At the end of this year, we're going to have 79 miles of trails in this city, 41 miles of shared use trail, and 38 miles of soft trails. We got a new regional park coming on, oh, wow. and uh, we have built. Uh, you know, we're starting our western bypass mm-hmm. and. And we're trying to make the city a walkable community. So we're building those physical infrastructure, restoring historic bridges. Those are going to be so beautiful when they're done. Awesome. I just, you know, they'll be done to fall and they're restored back to the what they looked like in the 1930s. Wow. I think we, it's just really going to be cool. That is we, so awesome. we built a new downtown deck. We have a new school in place that was built a few years ago. We're a city on the move, very progressive in that area in the physical infrastructure. And one of the things that we're really going to stress, and it's going to help everybody mm-hmm. in this city is our digital infrastructure. We're gonna work on bringing affordable broadband to every citizen in this city. Wow, that's awesome. That is a goal of ours. Susan it's, and I are working key. on it. So that's, and uh, uh, we are really excited about that because we're finding there's this education gap right Absolutely. now going on. Absolutely, and access. Exactly, and, yeah. and that's what, you know, and, and if, if you really wanna help folks that are, that are needing a better life, mm-hmm. And opportunities. And opportunities, job opportunities, and a better life for themselves and their children. You look at that that uh, digital infrastructure because, as it is right now with the education gap that we have, we have folks that can afford uh, uh, broadband. Yeah. And then we got folks that can't, so they got to bring their kids into the library. Absolutely. And 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 they can't afford that. And we're going to change that here. Wow, We're going to make awesome. affordable broadband for everybody, and those children will be able to sit at home at the kitchen table and do their homework instead of have to travel into the library. And it's it's going to provide a better quality of life for everyone in this city, and we're going to reduce that education. That is big. That's that is key. huge. That's key. And I'm looking forward to the, the bridges restored, but I'm also loving the restaurants I'm seeing popping up. I'm a foodie, <laughs> so I'm loving that as well. Yeah. Awesome. I also wanted to ask, uh, what are your thoughts on that recent growth that we talked about, mm-hmm. the rankings, the number one, or no, sorry, third best place to live after Denver and Austin, which that's a good company to be in, yep. uh, number yep. one best affordable places. I mean, these are great great things as for on the national uh, landscape to, to have those rankings. What are your thoughts on that growth? Well, I think it's because of direct result of the people that live here. Mm-hmm. It's always about the people. I mean, we mayors, we, uh, we come and we go, <laughs> but the people remain. Absolutely. And we have a beautiful city full of beautiful people. And that brings me to the last point of the triangle I was talking about, mm-hmm. and that's our social infrastructure, where we believe in equality for everybody who comes through this place that when you come here, well, you're a part owner. Mm -hmm. We're all partners here. I'm the mayor, but that's a job. Yeah. But you know, it's like at the city, you know, there's, there's the job of the mayor. Yeah. But I have, I have people that scrub my floors and clean the bathroom. And what if they didn't do their job? Exactly. I mean, the place would be filthy and it wouldn't be what it needs to be Mm -hmm. because their job's important my job's important but we're all important together and that's how we change not only a city we change a state a nation we change the world that's awesome but it's about the people and all of us working together absolutely that's what makes us such a great place the people make us great (laughs) i agree all the people make us great (laughs) there you go uh, what is your hope for the future of Fayetteville? Where do you see us uh, over the next five or even ten years or beyond that? I see us a city that's going to be a light. You know, they talk about a city that's a light on the hill. Mm-hmm. That's the way I see us. We're shining the way for other people. Yeah. We're progressive, and we are on the cutting edge. And, you know, it's like Lao Tzu says, if you never depart, you never arrive. If a city or a mayor or the people decide this is as good as it gets, Mm -hmm. then this is just where you stay. But we're not going to stay there. We're not going to get stuck there. We're going to depart even further Mm -hmm. than where we are right now. It's like it's, it's, 
and and you got to go to a place you've never been before. Mm -hmm. And that's scary sometimes. Absolutely. But if you're all doing it together, you go from where you are to some place you've never been, and you reach up into that area where your dreams are, yeah. and you make them real. That's awesome. And you go from, you know, we're living on yesterday's dreams. Mm -hmm. and that's our reality today, but tomorrow's reality reality will be today's dreams. Absolutely. And we just go from dream to dream to dream. That's where I see the city. I love that. Uh, and so you took office in 2008, is that correct? 2009. 2009. 2009. As mayor, but I was two terms on the city council. Okay, awesome. So what changes have you seen in your time <laughs> with the city? 15 years? <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I think when I took office, we were probably at about 57 thousand people now we're probably at about 82 oh my goodness so we've seen that kind of growth yeah. since I've been in office and but you know there's certain things about this city that that's why I love it so mm -hmm. never changes yeah it's not what we market around here it's what we believe mm -hmm. and we believe that we're the best of the best and um the changes I've seen, you know, we have seen the, the, you know, we've, you know, we've seen uh, the infrastructure has been huge. We probably been built more infrastructure in the last four years than we built in 20 years here. That's the trails, the sidewalks, the, you know, the apartments are coming in, and, and we're, the small businesses. I think we're averaging one business a day, over one business a day coming into this city. And I'm seeing them pop up Aren't every you, day. You were I drive by, I'm like, is that a new? <laughs> when <laughs> when you, did that get there? When you were talking about the restaurants, well, yes. that's, I mean, it just if you just drive through this city, you see all the growth and everything because every, it's a, you know, it's, it's like uh, the city's uh, just in a real hot progressive move to move it is. forward and, and you you leave for a weekend and come back and there's <laughs> something changed. new it's i changed. love it I love but it. it's just been phenomenal change yeah you know when i first came into office we were in the middle of that recession and i thought my goodness it's going to be and it was tough for a couple of years and then we rebounded and when we did we hit everything with all cylinders and That's just good. keep driving it forward and uh, the change has been phenomenal i think we're an extremely diverse community and that's our strength yeah absolutely and uh but one thing that never changes is our belief in one another mm -hmm. and so but i've seen a lot of change a lot of growth uh i've seen everything from impact fees which was the big hot topic when i first came into office now it's, you know <laughs> and, you know that's uh, we you know and and uh, the uh I think we're becoming a real walkable community, alternative transportation. We're, we're you know, you know, all the change. I think uh, uh, I've seen the city go from a little calmer city to a real vibrant, exciting, uh, driving forward type of community. And uh, absolutely, but, but there's still the old way of the belief in one another. Absolutely, and that's what pulls us together, and moves us forward. Well, Mayor, what is it that you would like uh, the people of Fayetteville to know about you? I want the people to know that I love the people. I love the city. I want them to know that we're all partners together. And I make mistakes. We all make mistakes. But together we'll overcome any mistake that we might make. Mm -hmm. And we'll make the city better for our children and our children's children. That is my wish and my goal. And together we'll make that happen. That's what I want them to know. That's awesome. Uh, and, and also on top of that, kind of along those lines, how do you manage to balance your family life and <laughs> <laughs> your personal life with such a busy job? I know I see you at events all the time. And, well, I, you know, it's, it's got to be a tough job, but how do you manage to? I have a very understanding family I am married to a saint <laughs> she's very understanding we've uh, uh, we've been married 40 years um, so how long almost 40 years about 40 years 76 yeah 40 years is 40 years in March wow we've been together a long time you don't really see that too often anymore and, uh, <laughs> That's a it's, blessing. Uh, uh, my wife is uh, my rock in many ways and my cheerleader <laughs> in many ways. 
That's awesome. And uh, I have great children, six grandchildren, and uh, got a great family, very understanding family. Because my day starts at 4.30 in the morning, and I go to bed at 11 o'clock at night. And um, as I tell folks, I work from daylight to exhaustion. <laughs> but I... I love what I do because I know that if I can work one more minute, one more hour, yeah. one more day, i got one more chance to change one more life, and that's important to me. That's awesome. Well, my last question is a simple one. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about Fayetteville? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Be specific. <laughs> if I, you had to pick I, one, I know it's I know I it's love tough. the people. That's good. I love the people. I love this city. I love everybody that's in this city, and and I hope that's my thought and my prayer mm -hmm. that everybody will love one another, and we do. And it's that, like I said, it's not what we market. It's what we believe, and we believe in one another. Absolutely. That's what I love most about this city. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add? No, but it's been great doing the interview. <laughs> it's been great having a and, chance to sit down and chat with you. And if I have an open doors policy at this, this city, and we're meeting with all kinds of different groups all across the city right now. In the last two weeks, it's just been a lot of folks I bet. Been doing a lot of meetings, and we're going to continue to meet. Good. And I want anybody to know that wants to come into this office and meet with this mayor, mm -hmm. that door is open. You don't hear that too often. That's good. It's open, and I encourage them to come in and meet with me. Awesome. And let their, let their thoughts be known. Let, let their, I will be an ear to hear, yeah. and, let, and they need to step up, step out, and let their voice be heard. Good stuff. Well, Mayor Jordan, thank you so much for your time again. I appreciate you uh, having this opportunity to speak with the people and the community uh, via the radio station. So thanks again. Oh, thank you. Have a good day. It was wonderful. <laughs> wonderful to meet you.